Okay, today we're gonna to talk about lane keep assist with lane departure warning. So you'll see here on my driver assistance setup that it's going to, once you hit 37 miles per hour, both the lanes turn green. What that means is that it found both the lanes with the camera that's up here. And uh, the lane keep assist is going to help you from leaving your lane or drifting out of your lane unintentionally. So if I start to go towards the right lane, you'll notice how that lit up with the amber color. And then when I cross, you know, I have to actually move the steering wheel to cross, and then it starts to flash. So the, uh, the steering wheel will actually provide like a gentle input. It'll actually move the steering wheel. So the green lights up, you'll actually even see that it found the car in front of us as well. So if we start to drift towards the right hand side, you'll see the steering wheel move there. There you can see the steering wheel move quite a bit. So it just keeps you back in the middle of your lane is the idea. Now, when I took the steering wheel over, then it stopped controlling that vehicle. And if you start bouncing right to left, right to left in the lane, it will also um, alert you to make sure that you take control over. Um, the system can be turned off. If for some reason it freaks you out that the steering wheel is helping you stay in the center of the lane, you can definitely turn it off. And the steering does not continually do that. So if you think you can text and drive or be distracted all the time while you're driving, um, once you start bouncing back and forth, it will shut the system off to make sure that you take the steering wheel. Also, if you leave it for long enough, it will ask you to take control of the steering wheel you'll see show up on there. So again, that's Lane Keep Assist with Lane Departure Warning System, and it's just gonna be able to keep you inside your lane. So a lot of your vehicles will have this. A lot of the new vehicles are gonna have this feature. You may have it right now, and you may not even know it. So when you scroll through your Driver Information Center, look for Driver Assistance, it looks just like that, and there's a little icon that you can see right there. That icon tells you that you have that lane keep assist. So when you start drifting towards your lane or if you're drifting out of the lane and that's not able to correct you in time, you'll feel a seat vibration if you have a safety alert seat. So if you start drifting over the right lane, you'll feel a seat vibration on your right side and obviously the same for the left. If you do not have a safety alert seat in your vehicle, instead of the seat vibration, you'll simply hear a chime coming from the speaker on the right or the speaker on the left to let you know which lane that you're going over. All of these things are just gonna help you Remember to look up. All right, there's a few ways that this can be disabled. One, take control of the steering wheel. We'll, we'll disable the lane keep assist so it won't move your steering wheel for you. Two, is if you turn your blinker on, then it knows that you're intending to change lanes. And three, if the camera behind your rear view mirror can't find the lanes, say it's covered in snow, heavy rain, or it's just worn down after a time and it can't recognize, you'll be able to see if it's the right or left or both lanes, that will disable the system. Until next time.